In the previous video, we went over how to make the world align nodes work in local space. Since then, thanks to a couple of my subscribers and community members, we found out that there were some issues with the normals when scaling the meshes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix them. So let's do it. The project file of this video is available on my Patreon. I've already created a material and added a normal texture and a local word align normal function. I want to only see the normal, so let's check it in the level. The first issue happens when scaling the mesh. These searching artifacts appear on it. We have two normal functions. Open the local word align normal function, not the high quality one. Here, delete this transform vector for the local space. We don't need it. Add a pre-skinned normal node. Run it through a vertex interpolator. And connect it to the switch node like this. Save the function. And the stretching issue is gone. Now there is no problem when scaling the mesh in all axes at the same time. But when scaling it in only one or two axes, another issue pops up. The normals in one or two sides become more prominent. So the second issue is when scaling the mesh ununiformly. In order to be able to have a consistent texture size, we multiplied the preskin local position by the object scale. This is before multiplying it by the object scale. Notice that when scaling the mesh, the texture is attached to it. And this is after multiplying by the object scale. Now the texture size is consistent and we have more control over it. We're gonna use the object scale function here to fix the normal issue. Drag add of here and add a named reroute. I'm gonna name it object scale. Over here move these nodes to make some room. Now here, before transforming the local space to tangent space, we should divide it by the object scale. So let's add a divide node and the named reroute for the object scale. Connect it like this and connect it to this transform vector node. Now do the same for the other ones too. Save the function and now the issue is gone. Now we can move, rotate and scale the mesh without having any issues. So that's it, click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Also a special thanks to my patrons for making this possible, like this video subscribe and join our communities if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below so see you in the next one